The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. And we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with the Kansas City Chiefs. Australian-born punter Mitch Wisnowski to get things going. And we are underway from Santa Clara. Carry for the former Michigan State man, Le'Veon Bell. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. On the pickup. Second and six at the 29-yard line. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Nicole Hardman, the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. Well, if you have man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. And the first down. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What did the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. The tackle made. Not the kind of gain that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of gain that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. From the gun, it's Mahomes. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Jarquiski Tart. And they have the football, and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 33-yard line. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at the 33-yard line. 56 is the mic. 56 is the mic. Let's go, D. Big ass, big ass, big ass. 
They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. The broken tackle, but couldn't create much space. Down just beyond the 35. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. It's now second and six. They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Coleman, the ball carrier. All right, Brad, I know where they're early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. And one. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. No gain on the play. Second and ten at the 47-yard line. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So even with the pass interference, it's a completed pass. They'll go ahead and just take the play instead. How about the effort? Making the catch despite the pass interference. Nothing else to be gained on the play. No need to take the penalty. The play stands. Here we go, here we From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. He was brought down at the 28-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Now Mostert. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. And the Niners have taken the early lead. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Wisnowski to kick off for San Francisco. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And this carries into the end zone. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it will come out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 25. And into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six, and just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visits. What do we hear during these drills? Pass. Pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. That means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. Gold with the extra point, and it's now 14-0. for San Francisco. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. 
That'll be taken about a yard deep. And bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. 25-yard line. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Jack Risky Tart. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. So more problems here in this first quarter. Already two scores down, and here they give away the football. And if I'm the head coach, I think it's time to start lighting a fire under some of these guys. Now, you have to do it within your personality. They can't perceive it as fake. But I'd go get after some guys because they don't look ready to play to me. They look flat, uninspired. It's time to get moving. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 36-yard line. On second and 11 now. Garoppolo. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver, and it's third down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try and throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. Garoppolo to throw for it on fourth. And my goodness, this is incomplete. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Chiefs' defense comes up with a stop. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Now, last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. That catch good for only a couple. At the 29-yard line. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Chiefs nothing. Second and eight. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That one complete to Hill. Mahomes that catch back. good for five. It's third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And the kick. 
catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Now here's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he will have a Chiefs first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. Scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Now it's Mahomes again. And he'll get this underneath to Bell. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. to throw once more. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Kansas City. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Again, it's Mahomes. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The sack by Jordan Willis. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon. And guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that lead. Second and a long way to go. Mahomes, open man is Hill. He's got it. And he gets it down deep into San Francisco territory. Mahomes finding Hill for a big play. 47 yards. Coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. A 
screen to Bell. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. The Niners, 10-yard line. to the 10 they'll try on second and goal here out of the shotgun it's Bell and here he'll get it down to the 7 it'll be a gain of 4 but it'll bring us now to a third and goal partner I know we're in a goal to go situation but my goodness think about running the ball here not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. stays out there a big challenge here from this far back but they're going for it on fourth and goal they'll go for it it's Mahomes that's to his running back complete and he will be brought down well shy of the goal line they get the completion but cannot push forward into the end zone and that will force a turnover on downs the San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. 30, 10, touchdown for the Niners. Raheem Mostert.
Here's the Australian-born punter, Mitch Wisnowski, to get things going. And we are underway from Santa Clara. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. At their own 26-yard line. This is Alvin Kamara, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. Brings up second and 10 at the 26-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. This one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. You know, normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Jason Barrett. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away on the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position. And to me... They got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the 
gun. It's a handoff to Coleman. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. You go take. You go take. You go take. First carry for Raheem Mostert. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. Loss of the yard, bringing up third and 12. He'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Goal at the nine-yard line. to the ground, this time Mostert. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. They'll run with Mostert. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. But now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. They'll try it now with Mostert. And across the goal line into the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Niners have taken the early lead. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Mitch Wisnowski to kick off for San Francisco. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. At their own 18-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? 
I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Jared Cook, the tight end, was the target. And it's second down. Second down and 10. to throw again. Hill. He's got his all-pro receiver, Michael Thomas. Five yards. Now it's third and five. He missed on his first three passes. Was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. And that is incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. for it. Here's Hill. And he finds Cook. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. First down. On the ground, Camaro. And he'll get this up to about the 40. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. And four. The last run got six, now second and four. Now Hill. And brought in by the tight end Cook. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Seven yards there and a first down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Brings up second and four. At the 49ers, 6 nothing. our score after one. That's the end of the first quarter with the score, Niners 6, Saints nothing. No hesitation, don't try my patience. I'm up for it, one for the sake, boy, it's in his neck and look. No room to the bread until we all have them buckets. Put a footsteps coming, but we coming for the check. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They run it for the first time with a backup Murray. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A run. It's Murray. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. The ball carrier. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls, 
are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. That was second down run for Murray. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. to the 23 here on third. Now it's Hill. Going with a screen for Murray. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Three yards all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. It would appear Sean Payton's made the decision here. They will go for it on fourth. Hill looks to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Back to the ground. It's Camara. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. Staying on the ground on first with Camaro. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. On second down, Kamara. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. The Saints on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. Here it's third and two. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Saints, if they convert the extra point, they'll have the lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? This taken in about four yards deep. And we see James. He will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. 25-yard line. set to get this drive underway. Go. Check safety, check safety. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And now nothing but green ahead of him. Touchdown, 49ers. Raheem Mostert with his second touchdown here in this first half. And once again, the 49ers are back out in front. Now gold for the extra point. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. Makes the score, Niners 13, Saints 7. Mitch Wisnowski. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. 
fielded near the back of the end zone. And we will not see a run back here. from Harris at their own 25-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And now last drive so successful with the ground game ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of. But so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, Three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> he would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first. Trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 29, and the return will stop right around the 25. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively, getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. This is Mostert. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. It appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. They were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Play fake for Mostert, now Garoppolo. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. And now it's a two-score game at 9, 16-7. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. 27-yard line. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's Hill. Fighting to stay upright. 
And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Throwing on third down, Hill. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. You're trailing, you're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone. Well, I tell you what, credit is due there on them preventing the touchdown after that interception. How about him chasing him down and not giving up the pick six? Because what happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit, and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. He shook that off and gave great chase and got it done. Still a great return and very good field position. Here's Hill now after the interception. That'll be complete to Cook. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Jared Cook. Jared Cook. As the first half is winding down. And the Saints are back within a score. Lutz will look to add the extra point. And it's good. It cuts it to two. 16-14 our score. Niners, 16. Saints, 14. Will Lutz to kick off for New Orleans. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Uh, we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 28. And he's given his guys a shot from late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. Yard line. Right there, right there, 
first down. Hill gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. At the 16-yard line. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the right hash, this from 33. And Lutz's kick is good. So a late turnover leads to a quick drive, and in turn, that quick drive leads to three points. So someone makes a mistake, but how about the other side learning from that mistake, taking care of the ball, and making sure they put some points on the board. Well done. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. And this is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. Now this will make it into the end zone and we see James, he will not return it and they'll bring it out to the 25. San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Once again, it's Mostert. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. At the 36-yard line. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 39 yards, the distance covered on the catch and run. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And between the last two plays, they've moved it over half the length of the football field. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this a little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's Moster. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 13-yard line. A third quarter now and a one-point game as they line up second and 10. 
Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play, and that'll force upon him a third and 14. Now Garoppolo. And it's caught. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Here's Mostert, and he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Taking it in from a yard out. And the 49ers have retaken the lead. He's got the hat trick now of rushing touchdowns. Also has his team the advantage. And I'm looking at it two ways here. If I'm on defense, I don't care what they do now commit as many people as it takes to slowing him down running the football. Even if they want to hit me over the top on play action, I just don't let him beat me that way anymore. And if I'm him, I'm in the huddle calling the plays myself. I don't care what play call comes in. I tell my quarterback, guess what? You're handing it to me again. And if I'm the quarterback, I'm saying, okay, that sounds good, right? Smart quarterback. Mitch Wisnowski to kick off for San Francisco. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Taken about seven yards deep. And we will not see a run back here from Harris. They're on the 25-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned, because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. A shotgun snap for Hill. And Cook has it. Left side. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. On third down, Hill. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Solomon Thomas, they love to see that from him as he slips in for the sack. Three and out. They're going for it. It's Hill. Able to find Harris complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Not often do fourth down conversions result in 23 yards, but that's the case here. First down. Take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Fred Warner. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. And 
they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and six. This will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 41-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. more and down to the 29 yard line 13 yard gain yet again just like last play first down saints on first down it's hill and that is incomplete he couldn't hold on through the contact brings up second down he did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived and i've got to tell you you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Second and 10, Hill again. Throw left side complete. That's Cook. Hills pass. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Seven. And this is third down. Hill on third down. And that is incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Desperation time on fourth for Hill. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Jason Barrett. A big seam, and he might go all the way. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. A little bit of a backbreaker right there. You're down close, one score game, trying to push the ball down the field and score, and you throw a pick six. And sometimes you take a little bit of a gamble when you're making your throws, right? Sometimes you press it a little bit more than maybe you wanted to because you want that score so badly. In this case, it cost them. Mitch Wisnowski to kick off for San Francisco. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will make it into the end zone. And we will not see a run back here from Harris. At their own 25-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. We'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. And here's a throw that's taken in by the tight end Cook. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 
It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Here's Hill. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Cook. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. Hill. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Jason Barrett. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. Well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it, Kurt Coleman? Oh, yeah, that's Then right. with the Eagles? That's right. Then against the, with the Eagles, and I believe it's against Washington and Rex Grossman. That's correct. Number 30. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. He's on the tackle. It's a gain of five. They'll stay on the ground with Moster. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. They'll try and run here with Moster. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. Running the counter with Moster. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Blitz coming and down he goes. Alex Anzalone with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. It's fourth down. because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on it trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Jason Barrett, and they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. 
and give him now four interceptions in this game. That's only the third time this has been done since the year 2000. I think that tells you how much better teams have gotten at throwing the football. If you go all the way back to 1960, 12 times before that, there have been guys who've gotten four interceptions or more in a game. I mean, most recently since 2000, Delta O'Neal and D'Angelo Hall. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. They'll start on the ground with Moster. And he stopped immediately there. The ball carrier. No gain on the play there. Second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a first down on a gain of 10. 49-yard line. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. Taken down at the 43-yard line. A gain of five brings up second and five. Today's final score. So the victory here for San Francisco, and they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, Pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now, it's about taking the ball away. Taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.
I don't want it if it ain't love. If it ain't get it away from me. Who you gon' jack if it ain't us? LABB to the bakery. Some mad that I came up. I know my granny gon' pray for me. It was just us in the vacancy. We had to get it from A to B. Wheels never felt like this. Two seats in the hills, how feel righteous. Blue sheets for the mills, but the deal priceless. New keys can't care what's built private. I might just double it up, get it. Never enough, I'm with it. Uh, five, two, three on the business. Whole team got wins in the world suspended. I told them. What I told them. We did a lot for the wins. Came in a drop on the 10. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah. Hey, I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on top. Got a spot and a slot to the click all in. I got ops. If he drop, I just hit my dance. I was pop. They just watched. Had to take my wins. They wouldn't let me in. I've been on 10, 10 cents. Who really holding it down? I've been holding it down and I go it again and again. Who was the dummy that died? I'm the coldest of ground, but he falling again and again. I'm in the what? I'm in the day. I'm doing 30 on 30 and up. You in the what? You in the way, either you rollin' or rollin' the dust, you better so what? Keep it running. We did a lot for the wins, came in a drop on the team, now we on top, top yeah. once again, yeah. I had to tighten the plan, I got it right in the end, now we on top, top once again. We did a lot for the wins, came in a drop on the team, now we on top, top once again, yeah. I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on 10, 10, 10. Someone put me out cause I'm on fire I can't give a fuck about what they say They've been searching for that thing to get them higher You can't catch my drip, can't catch my wave Damn, Kane, you done kill Abel. Unbalanced land, trying to keep the people stable. The way I feel, I might f it all up. The way you feel, you might do it for the bug. All black, born to be a rebel. After this, I might go and water down the devil. Listen to everything around me, I can't see. You picked a dozen roses and left them in Galilee rolling. Don't know him, I cry, don't let alibi scratch if I finally starting to realize. Never give up and go I can't watch TV. It's all a lot time to try and go ahead and fly. Everybody want a straight answer, but media keep us blind. A good heart is not hard to find. Why the people try to define infrastructure right on that time? Structure right on that time. I could, I could, it's all to we're talking about. You're about to protect themselves and daughters from political coming slaughter. Someone put me out cause I'm on fire. I can't give a about what they say. They've been searching for that thing to get them higher. You can't catch my joke, can't catch my way. Never play by the rules, that's I'm paying my dues They gon' try to intrude, poison the multitude They be quick to accuse, when you got different views Just know you gon' pay the price, best up the item you choose When ties in the culture, hit you with them can't ultra I knew you was a vulture, holy ghost get the ushers No, 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 I can't trust you, shock you, deny you fluster Crashing down, I was cluttered, doing this so subtle Falling out through the rubble, remember this in jungle The top, I was gonna get something, the middle gotta stay hunting Why the rush up for nothing, why the rush up for nothing Why the rush up for nothing, why the rush up for nothing Agitated illusion, only been for confusion The, the institution, my the execution, think I know the solution. Maybe not should I do it. Well, just put it in the music, just put it in the music. Someone put me out cause I'm on fire. I can't give up about what they say. They've been searching for that thing to get them higher. You can't catch my joke, can't catch my way. You'll burn out it.